with auto stim. Auto stim is the world's first self stimming non detonating cartridge. It's a safe product. It can't be used for malicious activity. Although when it's contained in the hardest rock, it'll shatter that rock. It's going, it's going to revolutionize the mining industry. Now, uh, in the underground mining, you have continuous mining. Not having to shut down the mine uh, and, and evacuate the mine prior to a blast. And, and not being able to return in for hours. Now, you can sh go back 100 meters, shoot in the mine, and immediately return in. So that it enables you to have continuous mining. AutoStim is a future in mining. You'll be able to be at the forefront of the mining industry. The way in which mining has been done for the past hundreds of years will now be revolutionized become more productive and increase profits. If you as an engineer are here at the SME looking for new innovative ways to increase profits for your company, you need to look no further. Auto Stand is here. Are there any other uses for this? Absolutely. The construction industry, underground grading, as a, as a past contractor myself, uh, we used to have to outsource our blaster. When we ran into rock, all I saw was losses. Had to outsource that, call in a blaster, high cost of uh, high explosives, and then the unpredictability, the liability. It's, you know, it, it's really hard dealing with rock as a contractor. Now you can uh, shoot your own rock in house. All it, all it requires is an ATF license and you're in business. When you run into a rock now, all you have to do is get your own crew on it, drill some holes, shoot it, excavate it out with no downtime. In fact, now you can look at rock as a profit making potential. As a past contractor, I have turned profits by using auto stamp in my construction industry. Great, I'm so excited for everyone to be able to use this product from now on and it was awesome meeting you. Nice being you. One other thing, auto stamp is the future of last life. It's the future of last life. Thank you, Tom Bowden.